Welcome back to Buckeye Football Weekly, a moment that the Bucks had waited for for two years since dropping a game in 05 at Happy Valley had finally arrived after a long day's wait. Mike Tomzak, the honorary captain, ready to get the Bucks going after the coin toss. Ohio State receives the opening kick, and they take it on their first drive of the game. Up top, Brian Rubisky hauls it in for 27 yards. That set up a Ryan Pretorius 50-yard field goal. Didn't make it by much, but that's all he needed. Good from 50, and the Bucks with a three-point lead, 3-0 three after their first drive. Andrew Corliss hauls in this Anthony Morelli 29-yard pass, and Penn State driving on its first possession of the game. Rodney Kinlaw from two yards out from there, and give the Nittany Lions credit, they answered the Bucks' three spot, and the whiteout crowd was jacked up with a 7-3 lead. Ohio State trailing for the first time since Washington back in September. Up top, the Bucks stretching it deep again. That's a 60-yard reception by Ray Small, his long of the year, the longest led up by that Penn State defense so far this season. Brian Robisky, great hands in the end zone. Robo hauls in the catch. It's a touchdown, 10-7. Ohio State retakes the lead. Then the Silver Bullet defense stands up to the test. Marcus Freeman stops Kinlaw for a two-yard loss. Vern Golston chases down Morelli. That's a sack and a loss of seven yards. Ohio State ends the first quarter with a 10-7 lead. Heads in the other direction. Rory Nickel, a Beaver, Pennsylvania native, playing in Beaver Stadium. Very first time he's been there, he hauls it in for 11 yards complete. Maurice Wells shoots through a hole up the middle for nine yards. And then bring on Beanie Wells on a third and one. He's good for six yards and a first down. And the drive continues. Back to the air on first and ten. Todd Beckman to Brian Robisky. That's 19 yards complete. Into the red zone goes Ohio State. 16 yards this time on a third and 14. A little jailbreak screen. And off Brian Hartline goes. Look out for Alex Boone. He's going to jump over your head right there. And it's a 17-7 lead as Ohio State has scored on its first three possessions of this game. Forcing Penn State to punt. Back on offense. And it's Hartline again. Great hands over the middle, a pickup of 28 yards on a third and 12 deep in their own territory. Todd Beckman wants that one back. He throws it to Dan Connor, who's wearing a Penn State jersey, and that ends Ohio State's drive. Their fourth of the game, first one that didn't turn up points. Evan Royster, though, hit behind the line for a loss of one on a second and five play, and the Bucks go to the locker room with a 17-7 lead. Coming out in the second half, trying to keep that white out crowd of 110,134 second largest in Penn State history trying to keep them quiet Beanie Wells pick up a 17 and why not Maurice Wells pick up a 17 nicely done by both of those guys workhorse backs in this game Todd Beckman keeps for a gain of one it was key though on fourth and inches from the 24 yard line good for a first down third and two from the 15 It's Jake Ballard, and he's wide open. Ballard, 15 yards complete from Beckman. Touchdown, Ohio State up 24-7. Things looking in hand at this point, but back come the Nittany Lions. Anderson Russell gets Rodney Kinlaw for a loss of two yards. Chimdi Chekwa then battling in the end zone. He gets a good pass defense there. Kevin Kelly lines up a 27-yard field goal that splits the uprights, and it's 24-10 and Penn State back within three scores. That's how the third quarter ended, 24-10 the count. We start the fourth with Beanie Wells. He was just huge throughout this game. On a second and two, he rips off 13 yards down to the 14-yard line. Ryan Pretorius after the drive stalls, good from 37 yards, and Ohio State again makes it a 27-10 lead. You know, Woody would have loved it. Penn State backed up second and 10 from its own 20-yard line. Malcolm Jenkins... Right man, right spot. He takes the pick, and it's a pick six. He finds his way to the end zone, picks off Morelli. Second year in a row he did that against Penn State, takes one back to the house off an interception. This was an odd play. Kurt Coleman applies the hit on the completed pass, and the ball's just laying there. Donald Washington scoops it, and the Bucks have another turnover in successive drives. It leads to a Pretorius field goal, and the points keep coming for the Bucks. Finally ending this one, 37-17, moving to 9-0, Wisconsin Badgers up next.